Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I'm Zor of Water, and in the last episode, who boy did I fail at the first boss ever. But then again, he did something very- sh he, she, it did something a little bit more unexpected than I thought. What happened? It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place, but that would mean there is no time to lose! We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Alrighty, so let us go to the south. And Link, can, can you get in the boat? Um. Um. Can I get in the boat? King of Red Lions. Uh, I would very much like it if you allowed me to get in the freaking boat! Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me I have to do this first. Okay, so what you want to do is the Wind Requiem. After you play it, you get a compass on your screen. You have to turn the compass with the, uh... Apparently the left and Wow, this is weird! Um, you have to use it with the left analog stick. In the GameCube version, all you have to do is tilt it the direction you want to go, but this one, you quite literally have to t tap it left or right. That's freaking weird, man. That's freaking weird. Whoa, spaz, what the heck. So can I get in the boat? Thank you! I'm getting a freaking boat now. Um, let's see. Before I actually want to sail, though, I would like to see if I can find Beetle so I can get more uh, bait. So I'm going to circle this island and see if I can find the ship because I would like more bait. There you are! Um, no, I don't. No, put away. Get out. Because apparently A is sail. I keep on forgetting about that. Oh, thank you as always for business. Bah, whatever. And before you ask, there's no difference between these hoi parries. I'm going to buy a buttload of bait because that would be very nice. Oh crud, fine. Whatever. Fine, I guess two baits is good enough. And I get teleport back here. Lovely. Alrighty, so with some bait at hand, let us go south. This way, take out your sail, and let us go into the great sea of wonders. Sorry, just kind of fun doing that. Oh, wait. We have cutscene. Oi! Hold it right there, small fry! I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got. Actually, why do we have a sea chart in the first place? I don't remember you giving it to us. But it looks like, looks like, looks to me it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost a, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you, you got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about the islands. Open up your sea chart and make it snappy. And what he does is actually draw the island on our sea chart, which is very freaking useful. There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there. You'll ever get there to see it, Small Fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly. That is, because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, Small Fry. But I will do this for you, since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the sea uh, islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water with your sail, sail up to it and spread bait. So that's basically how you're gonna make your sea chart full with all these drawings and maps. 
And they also tell you like little secrets about the island, which will help you get, which you, which will help you get um, treasure chests and all that stuff to get 100% in this game. Why are you there, you kingly red lion guy? That's it. I repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. Oh, so apparently he knows the king of red lions. Interesting. So let's see. All we have to do is just kind of, all we have to do is find a fish popping out of the water, and we're all set. I would kind of like it if I didn't have to zoom in on anything. Sorry, just kind of looking at the map. So between it, oh, fine, I guess that's not gonna work out. Um, okay, so here's one of the many islands. Where is that fish man? I would, oh, I see him, there he is. Also, if you turn away from the wind, of course, you're not gonna be swimming as far, sadly enough. So what you wanna do, put away your sail. Uh, once you log on to him, spread some bait, and he'll come to you. And before you ask, no, the merman is not the same merman fish you ever see. So what you have to do is just log on to them first so that you know you're close enough. Once you're able to log onto them, you have to spread bait, and they will draw on your map, and they will tell you a little bit secret about this island. You see that volcano? You see their volcano that's spewing out lava? Like there's still no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. Thing is, everyone who ever tried to get inside has been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting out the top. If you want to get inside, you have to go find an island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. That's what they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt your luck, Fry. And that's all, I, all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it, you have yeah, the bait, bang, ba, boo, beep. Uh, whoops. There we go. Let us go forth. And over there, you see that kind of a uh, platform looking thing over there. I'm not gonna do this until I get a certain item, which I believe we'll, we will get in the next um, island that we need to go to first. Once I get that item, I should be able to start going to platforms. So yeah, this is basically the entire game, guys. You have to go from sea you get to go from island to island, and I can kind of understand how it gets boring. But look at this! Look look at time passing while we're at sail! We don't have to move unless you need to get to a specific island and change direction! And because we don't have to go to a specific island, we just get to see time passing, and we get to surf, and we hear this amazing music! I really don't go, uh -huh. and, and thunder appears, great. I really don't get why people have bad rep about this game, all because of the sailing. Like, it honestly doesn't bother me. It bothers me when I hear music like that. Yes, before you say anything, there are enemies in the sea. You have to be wary about- Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 no. No, cut away to sail. I would like to get over to you. No. Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha ha ha! You won't be getting any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves, and maybe some other things that I never heard, of, never heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy here. Especially since your head is sparkling with tangible sparkles. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what, as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing this if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nah. Just grab it. Play animation treasure chart. First, open up your map on the Wii U gamepad, and then compare the island charts on the right with the treasure charts on the left to see what where treasure lies. If you press thing to pause, blah 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 blah, then you use your grappling hook while on the boat to haul treasure, which I have not shown yet because we have not yet had a chance to do it. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I like those guys. So I might as well kind of show what the uh, grappling hook does. Um, what you do is you press the left, deep, left or right on your D-pad, and you pull out your grappling hook. You can move it from left to right with the left analog stick. Hold down A, and you'll stop. And you salvage, salvage, savage, salvage. You can only do this in areas where there's like a X marks the spot on your treasure charts, or or if you see a glowing, um, a, a glowing green, look around green, a glowing yellow light, which right now we don't see any, and we picked up a tingle bottle. I would like to speak to this merman though. Merman, merman, there you are. Oh crap! Where's my bait? Where's my bait? Bait, bait, bait. Oh, pfft. Link. Oh sweet God! Oh no! Oh no! That better be not what I thought it was. Oh my god, I can see it. Up on the right hand corner. 
Oh god. It's right there, isn't it? It's right there, isn't it? Oh no. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh, I'm scared. There are three enemies I hate in this game. And if what I think it is, I think I saw one of them. Oh god. Okay, holy crap! Beetle, you just scared the absolute crap out of me. Oh jeez. Beetle! You scared the absolute crap out of me. I do not appreciate it when people scare the crap out of me, Beetle. <sighs> I kid you not when I say there are three enemies I hate in this specific game. Oh snaps, if I ever see them, I am going to cry. One of which is not that bad compared to the other two, but it's big and creepy. And I don't like it because it's creepy and big. Oh, if I ever see that thing too soon, it'll be the end of me, honestly. So already you can actually see the island we have to go to. And ooh, 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 screw this. Over there, you see that rainbow light? That's where we should go. That's where we need to go for what we need to do. Get close to it. Once you hear the sounds, pull out your grappling hook and start to salvage. Oh dang, am I, am I not close enough? No, now I'm too far away from it. What the heck? It's a little bit harder to actually do this now that I think about it. There we go. Banana! Wait, what? Ooh, rupee! Purple rupee! 50 rupees! Yay! So yeah, you see these, um, rings of light everywhere. And more than likely, they'll hold rupees, but they don't just hold rupees. They hold a lot of other stuff. So whenever you see them, always take the chance of going past them. If not, just wait until, uh, wait until you get treasure, mar uh, treasure charts. I don't know if the rings of light actually are parts of our are on uh, treasure charts. I'm, a, I'm just under the assumption of this. If not, oh well. I believe there is a sea chart where it shows you all the rings of light around the sea. And speaking of ring of light, I see one right over there. Right there. Wow, the grappling is a lot faster in this game. Like, holy crap. You, you would literally have to wait for the grappling hook to go all the way down Grab the treasure chest, pull it all the way back up. It takes a while. And apparently the maximum amount of rupees we can have in this part of the game it has changed as well. Because I believe the max was 100 beginning off. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? This is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. Very interesting looking island, isn't it? It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferrore's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. And go forth with caution, we shall! And Beetle has tangible sparkles around him, apparently. And I see a Tingle Bottle, but I don't care about the Tingle Bottles. So here, we're gonna see a new enemy, the Bogubaba, I believe they're called. No, 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 no! <sighs> Seriously? Already, two hearts lost. I feel shame for myself. So what you do after you kill them, they will drop a Deku stick and also clay animation Boku Baba seed. 
Um, these are our spoils that enemies will drop. Hi. You know what? Screw you. It takes a full combo to kill them really easily. And you get more seeds. Um, right now you can't really do much about with the seeds, however, it is really useful if you're in Heroes mode. Let's go with that. So make sure you collect these if you're in Heroes mode because this will help you in the long run. Not too hard to kill whatsoever. Ready? Take a baba. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna get rid of that bottle off my screen. And up, oh, I see the merman. Pull out your grappling. No, pull out your grappling hook, Link. Going to there. Yeah, they sped up a lot of things in this game, and I see another ring of light. I also see an octorock. What you want to do with the octorocks is pull out your shield, or apparently get missed by hairs in. Point it towards the octorock and let him get hit by his own. Uh, oh crud! No! Whoops. Let him get hit by his own, uh, rock that he shoots out. That's basically the only way to kill the Octoroks, as of now, actually. Okay, so... Griffin Hook, this way. Well, it's just really awkward how fast the animations are now, because they usually took forever. It's just really freaking odd, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, there we go. I believe there's another deck uh Voku Baba down there. Let's go check. Oh no 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 Game Pad Okay, the first time was my fault. The second time I blame the game pad. And I'm gonna be extremely careful while I go this way because I feel like there's something over here. And indeed there is. There's a random Boku Baba down here for whatever reason. Is there anything special? Or do I just get a... Nope, I could just get a seed. And I would really like it if I had some HP game. But no, this is in Heroes Mode. And Heroes Mode says no HP for you. Alright, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Up here... Pull out your grappling... Okay, not yet. Go over here, and before you pull out your grappling hook, you have an Octorok. There you go. Uh, make sure you're lined up over this way. Also, uh, don't worry if, um... Don't worry about this water. This water's not running, so... That's good. And look at the magnificence that is inside the Forest Haven. It's so big. And yes, Link, I know, I realize. Okay, so about the deluxe picto box that I shown in the last episode. In this area, in this specific, well, not this specific little island place, but in this island, the Forest Haven, you could find one of these little glowing fireflies here. And you needed, to, you needed to catch it in order to make the Deluxe Picto Box a Deluxe Picto Box that can take pictures. And for some reason, they decided to take it out of the game. Yep. At least for in the remake. Which is kind of sad, because I actually like looking for those, and it was kind of fun. So over here, we have a weird-looking tree. And whoa! Oh god, glowing red eyes. And there's a lot more. It's like freaking pimples. It's everywhere. And that thing is moving. Okay, so what you have to do is roll into the tree. It knocks down all the choo-choos. And now you're gonna have to be really freaking careful. Good thing I still have a fairy, though. Well, let's try not to jinx it, though. The green choo-choos like to kind of disappear. And do that, apparently. So you have to be careful about them. They will always... They like to go into like a little puddle state, unlike the red choo-choos. So you're gonna have to wait for them to actually manifest in their choo-choo form before you can hit them. And yes, I'm collecting these before I'm helping and uh, before I kill this. And if you don't kill them fast enough, they will somehow regenerate back on the tree. Who will groan in discomfort. 
Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh, what? I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt the longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the, that longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters have begun to con congregate in the regions around my wood. Um... Do not need? He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Horrocks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Hi! I'm sorry, hearing this music reminds me of like fairy tales and stuff. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirit of the forest. Once upon a time ago, long ago, the Koroks took on, took on human forms, but when they came to live in the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but, one, but once a year. It's, it's about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not complete soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not! Oh, great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It is Maker! It is Maker! Or Makar! Makar! What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it is not that, okay, take a treat. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods and as he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this. Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollow, hallowed and hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems that they have taken a child out of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions lightly expected, expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree! People can't fly through the air! Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, child. You were right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my croc. Are you calling me fat? Are you? No, are you? No. Let me tell you something. I am a tiny person. I am about the size of your kids here. I'm pretty sure I am light and limber and not fat. Good sir. Okay, if you're gonna give me an item, I guess I won't complain. That must have been very painful. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Holy snaps! Oh, doing the great Deku Tree's voice is killing my throat. 
Okay, so before we end the episode, let's go grab that real quick. All I have to do is get into these Boku Baba buds, and um, basically what you have to do is turn your angle with the left um, stick, left control stick, and when you want to jump out, it takes a w it, there is a timing to it. You have to hold down forward, and you'll go over to wherever you want to jump out. Not too hard at all. Just make sure you align yourself perfectly. If you're very unsure of yourself, make sure you like jump up first and get your bearings right. So over here, take out your grappling hook. There we go. Uh, make sure you go towards this bud. Let go. Wow, I, I would really hate this. I, I don't like heights. I don't do well with heights. I don't know if it's better the heights itself or it's just a fear of falling. I'm not entirely sure. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die if I ever fell from this height as Link because I only have half a heart. Uh, I think I still have that fairy though. There we go. Now with this. Ba -na -na -na, we got the Deku Leaf and it's a lot smaller than I remember. Like, a lot smaller. Okay, so with this, we have a magic meter now. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly from over there here using the Deku Leaf. Here, there, here, there, here, 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 here. Uh, before we actually do that, um, let's see, equip the Deku Leaf. What you want to do is jump up, press the Deku Leaf, and you start to fly. And, let's see, get my bearings. Jump into the air and start to fly. Now, as you fly, your meter will drop down little by little. And apparently you have a little tingle thing to know where you're landing. If you get into these uh, book baba buds, you will actually regain your magic. And since we have a magic bar now, you start to get you start to find magic pots, which will refill your magic meter. The longer, t the taller, longer ones will recover your um magic a lot more than the smaller ones you'll see so what is the purpose of us being here well as the cutscene well as the game kind of dictated there is a little island over there with a closed top what you want to do is if you manage to get a hoi hoi parry i believe they're called pull it out and you want to put it on your head and wait what i also think i got screwed from going this way i'm not entirely sure anymore oh well i guess i'll do that in the next episode in the next episode, we shall go back to where I wanted to go and use the Hyoi Perry the way it's supposed to be used. I don't know why it wasn't activating. And, and also, we will go into the Forbidden Woods and go save Makar. I will see you guys in the- oh, wait, wait. Hello, swordsman. You seem to be in high spirits. As for me, I'm using the fruit of the forest to create potions. I'm called Hollow. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman. But the one, the ones here, I have only seemed to work on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you'll surely need a potion that replenishes, replenishes it. And if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I have seeds from the flower monsters in the forbidden woods, then maybe I can make a potion for you. Do you know of those seeds? Yes, I do. Go into your spoils bag, put out the Boku Baba seeds, and show it to him. Oh, that's that's a Boku Baba seed. Boku Baba seed. Boku Baba seed. No. Oh, BS. Okay, so basically, long story short, he will make you a blue potion if I remember if I remember correctly. If you give him however many Book of Baba seeds he needs. Anyways, I shall see you guys in the next episode. This is our water signing out. We'll see you later.